Religion's probably gotten a little weaker, I'd say. I don't know, just because from all the studying and work to do in school and classes and stuff like that. Um, I don't really pray or go to church for Easter or anything like that. It's probably weaker just because I've been a lot busier and I haven't been able to go to church. I think I've become more aware of like, I don't know, things that are going on in the world at Santa Clara, just kind of like getting more, seeing like politics throughout the world and how many problems are caused through religion. And honestly, I kind of hate how there's so much like, such a basis on people not being able to accept other people's religions and causing wars over it, such as in the Middle East and anywhere. I just think you should be able to accept it, but I don't think it's possible for human nature to accept other people for who they are, so therefore religion will always be a problem. I was raised Catholic my whole life, but I'm a little confused right now. I think it's kind of typical to be confused, you know, right around like 18 to 24, and then you start to have your midlife crisis and then you go back, but I'm just really confused right now, I don't know. And at home, like I have to go to church with my family every Sunday, and here I have like the option to go or not. My name is Jack Gerdau, and currently I'm a sophomore at Santa Clara University. I've been around religion my whole life. From first until twelfth grade, I attended Catholic school, I was baptized, went through communion, and even got confirmed. I never agreed to any of it. I just never really understood why people kept forcing religion on me. I had to pray, go to church, learn the same stories over and over again, and I got sick of it. Since coming to Santa Clara and being away from it all, I've realized my, f my life is just fine without faith. I just don't care anymore, and I'm to the point of considering myself an atheist. Although religion can be very good, and it has definitely played a big part in developing my own character, it still causes a lot of conflict all over the world because of people who are too zealous in their faith. I feel awkward and marginalized by many people when I tell them my new thoughts on religion. I don't know why some people take religion so seriously, and I wish I wouldn't be judged for breaking away from Christianity. I'm not saying faith is bad, I'm just trying to say that it isn't completely necessary. So I went and talked to my good friend John Donald, a Muslim convert from Christianity, and asked him about his personal story and his views. I did eventually switch to Islam, and that happened over, and uh, I was actually in Barnes and Nobles one day, and I had started gaining a lot of curiosity in the Middle East and so on and so forth from, you know, for obvious reasons, the times that they're in. This is after, like, middle school, so that's you know, starting mid um, Afghan and Iraqi war. And, you know, I was just curious and I had them to pick up a Quran, you know, because I had only had the American perspective at that point of how to view Islam and the Muslim community. But, you know, I sat down and I read that in that bookstore a couple different uh, surahs out of the Quran and really kind of hooked me into it. So I bought the book that day and I went on to read it and that's, that is the defining point of where I changed over to Islam. And I thought that was kind of unique, you know, looking back on it because that wasn't somebody telling me or convincing me or persuading me any other reason. Just happened to pick up a book and, uh, you know, really connect with it. So that started, that was definitely the moment that I, my interest peaked. My mom, um, just was absolutely adamant that I, I stop what I was doing, that I clear my head, you know, reevaluate my life, things like that. And she actually the most was affected and cared the most about it. Well, she pretty much kind of did the disown banishment kind of thing for a while. And uh, so that was interesting because I've never seen a riff like that just based on an ideology before. And that kind of hit home for me that religion, to many people, is very, very rooted in their belief system, their core beliefs especially, to the point where everything is very emotional, very reactionary, or reactionary, excuse me. 
to the point where it's very hard to openly discuss these kind of things um, just because most people don't want to talk about it or they're offended by it. There was, yeah, several or excuse me, instances where the Christian community was not happy um, or even comfortable just being around me. In a small town, there's a huge amount of feelings of betrayal. Um, and that really played a part into people kind of just throwing me out as faith-wise into an outcast group. Um, so yeah, I was not welcomed at any of the religious institutions, uh, Baptists and the Calvinists and Catholics. Part of the reason I left the Christian um, faith was they were very, very um, intolerant as far as people bringing new ideas to the table, I guess you could say. And uh, just trying to even have open discussion and dialogue, uh, you know, and just for talking about faith. And you know, that was really de deeply disappointing because after being raised, especially as a kid, I still had those kid fantastic illusions about what faith was. You know, everything was simplified into God loves everybody. Um, you know, you're all brothers in God and so on and so forth. And just the animosity you find in people themselves kind of tore that illusion apart. And seeing that firsthand, especially developing as a kid, that really was a turning point there um, as far as like, you know, can, how far can I trust the Christian community if they're so willing to just throw somebody under the bus. I don't typically fit the stereotypical Muslim uh, just because I'm a college kid. I wear, you know, jeans, plaid shirts, shoes, and like People always have the stereotype of an Arab man wearing a turban with a beard, or a woman with a hijab, and you know, um, covered head to toe, and that's just such a misleading stereotype. Once you come to, back down to the reality of things, uh, people will be people no matter where you go, and regardless of faith. I was just disappointed that back home they didn't have that concept. You know, of different places you can finally go somewhere and just be more engaged and connected with people just based on being another human being. The only animosity I found was just somebody who had no world view, you know, of things abroad um, and just the culture around Islam and the people who participate in it. And it's unfortunate that 9-11 happened to be attached to a radical Islamist um, who really just gave the entire community an awful man. Dialogue is everything and I think discussion is everything as far as these types of ideologies go because how, if you conceal yourself and turn a blind eye to the rest of the world, can you even hope to understand somebody else? People take their beliefs so seriously and so personally that the instance, you know, you start talking with somebody that um, there's the risk of, you know, them feeling attacked or you feeling attacked. And it's very hard to overcome that insecurity um, because religion is so ingrained and, like I said, growing up with it, when you've grown up with it, that's something that's been a constant factor in your entire life. I'll stick with the, the big three of uh, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. It's all revolving around the same God, you know, whether they know it or not.